Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ellen and in this week's video I'm going to do a Valentine themed video and I thought it would be super fun to do a few things around Valentine's Day whether you are alone or with your friends, all these things in this video can apply to you. I'm very excited for this video because Valentine's Day is definitely one of my favorite holidays. I say that about all the holidays. So I'm not going to wait any longer. Also, don't forget to like this video and also subscribe because we are almost at 500 subscribers, which is very exciting. So further ado, let's get into the video. So hi guys, I already prepped my face. I just used a regular moisturizer and I'm now going to start my makeup. It's going to be like Valentine's Day inspired makeup look. I love Valentine's Day. It's going to be very soft and glowy. I'm so annoyed but there's basically a part missing from the video. How are you guys doing? I'm just back from my ski trip. It was super fun but it was also very humbling because there is a big difference between skiing indoors and skiing on steep slopes. I definitely recommend taking lessons if you're a beginner, but I did have a great time. So for the foundation, I'm using the Airbrush Flawless Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. So what are you guys' plans for Valentine's Day? It's such a fun holiday because you can do this with your friends, like have a Valentine's Day, you can host a party, you can go out with your significant other or maybe you can just do like a self-care night in on your own. I feel like you can do so many things on Valentine's Day. It's so cute with all the hearts. You can bake something, maybe you can paint or draw, go to the movies. I definitely want to bake something in heart shapes. I'm going to do this in this vlog. Stay tuned for that. We're covered with foundation. <laughs> And now I'm going to use my baking powder. I also have like holidays right now. That's why I went on a ski trip. I don't have uni till next week. So the day after Valentine's Day, that is the day that I will have uni back again. Then I will have the bachelor thesis from architecture, which is going to be very challenging. But I'm also excited. I'm just going to give my all for it. I'm going to let this set on my face. I look kind of crazy right now. Okay, so now I'm going to brush this all off. And I actually forgot to like contour a bit and put on a bit of bronzer. But I feel like this will still work. Definitely maybe do this before you powder your face. But I can still do it afterwards. Now I'm going to use the contour stick from Rare Beauty. I'm just going to apply this here and just see how this will turn out I feel like it's a very prominent color on my face that's why I don't need to use a lot we'll see how this will look I'm going to take a smaller blush I'm going to put this blush upwards to lift my face up a bit more and I'm also going to do this on the other side and then on my nose and now for highlighter i'm also using rare beauties in the shade flaunt i feel like my basic steps for my makeup hasn't really changed but i'm going to show you guys then how i do my eyeshadow okay so this is the base layer and then for eye makeup i do like to do my eyes first and then I will go in with eyeshadow. I usually smudge my mascara on my eyeshadow and then it's so annoying to get rid of the mascara on your eyeshadow. So I do like to apply this first. I also feel like January flew by so fast. I think maybe uh, the reason why is because I did have finals and probably a lot of you guys as well it's hard to like do your january reset so i do want to focus on like making a proper routine like a night routine so a morning routine i will be heading back to uni super important it's the way you start your day and end your day and you want to like do it on a good note as you can you guys can see like my biggest tip I have the longest lashes like Using a primer makes such a difference. It can be an eye primer or a serum. Look at that. <laughs> For lips, I'm using the shade Black Honey from Clinique. For my eye makeup, I really want it to be very soft. So I'm going to use my Naked Tree Palette 
and use this really soft pink shade and then I'm just going to build it up and see how that looks. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to blend this in my crease. I also really like to use a whiter shade like under my eyebrows that way it's kind of separate from your eyeshadow I think I'm going for a softer look and I'm just going to use some lip gloss I'm also going to add some lip plumber as well so this is it for the makeup look and now I'm going to clean this mess up and then I'm going to do my nails. For nails I'm going to use these press on nails. These are from Impress. These are my favorite uh, Impress nails. I think they are very great and they last you a pretty long time. So the first idea that I have for you guys is wearing the combination of pink and red. I think it's so cute, very Valentine's Day. You can wear this like a Valentine's date with your friends or maybe you're going on a date and you just want to go for like the cute soft vibe. I feel like a satin dress is definitely always a go-to if you don't have anything to wear. Like, it always works. If you want more of like an elegant vibe, then I think a red long dress is really pretty. Very simple, but I feel like it does the deal. Like, it's definitely more if you go to a restaurant, you want to give have like a more elegant look. I feel like it also looks very great if you want to do it like with a ponytail or maybe with a bun. Give you like a clean girl aesthetic as well. And then the last combination that I have for you guys is the combination of red and black. Also very elegant, nice for a date ID or when you do a Valentine's date with your friends. I feel like this is very romantic and also with like a black long skirt. <laughs> Don't mind my socks. <laughs> with a black long skirt, this will look very cute. Also with those red heels. I think I'm going to wear this when I go on my Valentine's date. So now I thought it would be fun to make something like a gift for my boyfriend. And I always make something cute, like something personal. So that's what I'm going to do first. And then I also really want to bake something this evening, like something valentine -y, like maybe some heart-shaped cookies, I don't know it yet. And also make like a valentine's drink, because let's do something fun together. Like maybe you also need like a self-care evening, just some alone time. And that's something that I really want to do today. So I'm taking you guys along with me. But first I'm going to make the gift. Okay, so I'm going to make him a cute card and he really loves cards, so I think I'm going to do something with that. I found already a picture on Pinterest. So he really loves cards, so that's why I'm going to draw this on the card. I have like some doodles on this paper, so I'm just going to draw it here. Okay, so this is the result of the doodle and now I'm going to color it in with some watercolors. I love to give my drawings a bit of color. The top of my pencil is kind of broken so I definitely need to buy a new pencil. It's really hard to like paint with it and to be very precise. Still going to wing with it, it's more kind of a looser, sketchier style. Now I'm just going to cut it out and then I'm going to do this onto a card and then I'm also going to write something on it. So I'm going to glue it here onto the card. It is dried up and this is what it looks like. I think it looks cute and honestly you should be free to do whatever you want with your card. It doesn't have to be perfect like I messed up the letters before and I still think it looks cute. 
So yeah, this is the end result. So these are the cookies that I'm going to make and I'm going to use a cookie cutter to make heart-shaped cookies. I also got these things to decorate the cookies and these are the shapes that I'm going to use. Well, first we need 250 grams of butter. So I'm going to take my scale to put this plate on the scale so that I can measure it. Okay, so this is the amount of butter. I do feel like it's a lot of butter, but I think it's fine. I'm going to use these because I just did my nails and I don't want the dough to get under my nails. Okay, so I did eventually give up and I'm just going to do this this way. So this is what the dough looks like and now I'm going to spread around some flour and then I'm going to roll it. Okay, so now I'm going to put them on the plates and let them sit for 15 minutes. So I'm going to pack this up for later and then I can make other cookies sometime. I made some tea in the cutest cup, very valentine themed. I made some forest fruit tea and then I also got my cookies as well. And I think I'm going to watch a rom-com, super fun for valentine's day. I think I'm just going to look around on Netflix until I find something. I think I'm going to watch Set It Up, it's with the same actor from Anyone But You. If you guys haven't already saw that movie, it's amazing, I laughed a lot, it's definitely a feel-good movie. So I think I'm going to watch this movie and then just eat my cookies and also drink the tea. I think I'm going to end the video here. I hope that you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day. Definitely let me know in the comments what you're going to do, if you're going to celebrate it with friends or maybe with a significant other or just alone. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!